Hi everyone, welcome to part 8 of our Corona boredom fighting videos with photography. And today is going to be the boredom buster king. I promise you it's addictive, you will love it. Today we're going to create images with soap bubbles. For example, this image, this image, that image and many, many more. So if you're still in isolation or in curfew, you will love that. What will we need for today's shooting? It's not much. First of all, a camera. I'm going to use the Canon 800D, which is also known as the T7i. Then something that has a screen. The bigger the better. I prefer to use a tablet, but you could also use a smartphone or even a notebook. Then a glass. Also, the bigger the better. I will use this tea kettle from IKEA, or IKEA as we call it. Dishwashing liquid, another glass, a straw, foil, it's optional, you don't have to use it. And today I will use a tripod because I will change from video to photo very often. If you don't have a tripod, please have a look at video number 5 where I explain how to use chairs and a wooden spoon instead. Let's start with mixing our liquid. What you do not want is putting the detergent into the kettle and then add the water because that will already create so many bubbles you don't get any control over the bubbles. The much better way is to add water first, then the detergent and then swirl the water to dilute the detergent. That will still create some bubbles, but not as many as you would have otherwise. Regarding the amount of detergent, the more you use, the longer your bubbles will last. But that's not always an advantage. We'll get to that later. Let's next prepare our background. I have created a few in Photoshop. You can download them if you want. I will provide the link in the description of this video. Or you can make your own. Make sure that the brightness of your screen is at maximum. And if you don't want the tablet to power off all the time, make sure to change that in the settings too. Next I will put the glass with the detergent right onto the tablet. If you want, you could alternatively use a foil under the glass, but you're going to have a hard time getting rid of all the wrinkles. So I will put it directly on the tablet. And then I will set up the camera. I will point it straight down in an angle of 90 degrees. You can use a bubble level if you want to level the camera, but you can just eyeball it too. As far as settings, I will choose a shutter speed of 1 8th of a second, an aperture of f5.6, an ISO of 100, and due to the slow shutter speed, I'm going to set my drive mode to 2 seconds self timer to not having to touch the camera while I take the image. And now I'm going to create my first bubbles to see how close I can get with my camera. Before we create our first image, here are a few tips. If you want bigger bubbles, you have to blow harder. If you want smaller bubbles, rather use your tongue like this. Or... That way you can create beautiful structures, so be an artist rather than just blow away. Try to create the bubbles in the middle. Adhesion will otherwise pull the bubbles to the rim of the glass. That's also the main reason why a bigger glass is better. In a small glass you will have a hard time keeping the bubbles away from the rim. And while we are at adhesion, with the straw you can pull the bubbles wherever you want them. It acts like a vacuum cleaner. If you place the straw near the bubbles, they will follow. What is important is to wait for the bubbles to stop moving, otherwise you will get motion blur. As I said before, the more detergent you use, the longer the soap bubbles will last. 
but I for one don't want them to last too long because I want to create new ones without having to wait forever. If you don't like a structure or you already took enough images, use the straw to guide it towards the rim of the glass. Then you can start again. If you have some smaller bubbles, you can also guide them to the rim like that and clean the surface. Now before we create our first images, we're going to switch off the lights. And here are our first images. Those look pretty cool, right? Before we continue with other ideas and tips about soap bubble photography, let's try whether we can replace our tablet with a smartphone. Works pretty well, if you ask me. And talking about smartphones, will they also work with soap bubble photography? Let's try that. I've created this out of a cardboard and I will use it like that. Not too bad, if you ask me. Let me recommend using an app that lets you set your shutter speed and ISO manually and use the base ISO of your smartphone for best results. Since I am in the dark here, does it really have to be dark? Well, not really. Let me just give you an example. Looks good, but I still like the dark one better. You can choose for yourself. Okay. So far, we have created kind of isolated structures, but if we create more bubbles, the image will look like a kind of cell structure. You can create one layer of bubbles, or even multiple layers by creating more soap bubbles. And this is where the smartphone shines because of the bigger depth of focus. But you can, of course, also photograph the multi-layer soap bubbles with the DSLR. And the last idea for the day is, if you have a glass board or a glass table, why not shoot from the bottom up? Of course it works better with a pile of books and a self-timer. So you see, soap bubble photography is not really difficult, creates beautiful images and is very well suited to kill boredom in corona isolation or curfew. So much for today's boredom fighting with soap bubble photography. In the next video we are going to play with smoke. So stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe.